Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about kit from Flyhawk. This kit is molded in 1700 scale and it's a deluxe edition which copies HMS Lens 1941, it's a full how version and deluxe edition means actually that we have uh, bonuses uh, in form of metal barrels. Also we have two P, actually three PE threads which will come handy for super detailing this small scale kit and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. We are going to open it and check what is actually hidden inside. Of course, um, packaging here I would say standard for this manufacturer, as you can see this is a white box uh, with quite beautiful box art. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Um, then again here we have short list of the features. On the side you have QR code for the kit info page as far as you can guess. And on the opposite side you can see some other kits from the same manufacturer. We reviewed some of them so you can find them easily on our YouTube channel or maybe on our website as well. Box arrived slightly damaged due to the post service so don't be scared by this but as far as I can understand everything inside is intact nothing was damaged and maybe just a small bend here on this uh, small postcard as usual as you can see it copies box art and also on the opposite side we have short history note and technical specifications. That's really cool because you can use this thing to place on your work table or maybe on your wall. And it doesn't look cheap. I mean it's really a beautiful reproduction of the painting on the box art. Okay, next we have assembly menu on the top. Various bonuses here, safety devices, but we are going to start with plastic and I'm happy to see that we have here some segmentation as you can see it's not one whole compartment, we have several areas and it should preserve parts from the possible damage, it's really cool because otherwise they will just fly around the box. We are going to start with this plastic sprue and as usual all these parts are packed into sealed plastic bags. That's why I'm using scissors because otherwise it will be a long process to open. And moreover parts are connected together with this rubber band which should help you avoid unnecessary damage on such tender parts let's say. So what do we have here? We have here two plastic frames. We are going to zoom uh, in to this one. So here we have various minor elements for turrets as far as I understand. And these are really tiny pieces here you can see comparison with my fingertip. So you will have to use sharp tweezers otherwise it will be almost impossible to install these parts. And here is the second plastic sprue we can actually fit them into one frame. So here we have various masts and they're molded as one piece parts, really thin ones. So you will have to be careful with these ones as well. It might look simple but it is not and I mean it will require some experience from you because otherwise it will be a horror in a small scale. Next we go on with a single plastic sprue in one plastic bag so that's why I'm going to open it as well. Here we have some turret ports as well as life bolts. So here it is. Let's zoom in. I guess there is no need to show this part so we can zoom in even more. Flip it over like this and now you can see these life bolts. So all of them are molded as one piece parts. You won't have to install anything. They are ready to be installed on this ship. And this should speed up the assembly process, but of course you will have to be um, extra precise, let's say, with them, because uh, these are really small parts. Here you can see them on my hand, and they're not that easy to catch with bare fingers. So keep it in mind and be ready to use some special tools just to have the more or less nice result. Here we have surprisingly ziplock bag so I'm going to open it and check what is actually supplied here and why it is in ziplock bag. Okay so here we have two small plastic frames one comes with main tube here you can see it also superstructure here we have more of different masks 
and I guess all this stuff will be used for the build so be sure not to lose any of them because otherwise and especially not to break any of them because otherwise it will be really tricky to fix it due to the size and also to the plastic I mean here it is quite crisp grey plastic and if you had some experience with Flyhawk kits you should understand what I'm talking about here we have some parts for the turrets it means barrels and also lower part of the turret and maybe I can bring it closer so that you can see it in detail here are the barrels for the turrets and if you flip it over here you can see these parts on the opposite side and here we have lower sections of the turrets again flip it over on the opposite side we have this special um, parts which will fix in place these barrels okay next we go on with set of sprues which are tightly packaged in um, this plastic bag why I'm a bit confused because as you can see it uses this special design which uh, stacks together various sprues and prevents any excessive movement that's a really small design but I wonder why it was packed into such a small plastic bag I mean they could have found something bigger as you can see it's really tricky to take it out but we have here live bolts or life rafts maybe and here we have various machine guns which were placed as uh, anti-aircraft guns as far as I can understand so that's how it works as you can see we have here pins and once you connect them together oops yeah now you see that they're not movable in any of the directions that's really smart design in my opinion and maybe it come handy might come handy in some other kits as well so I recommend other brands to check such styling here we have another example so here we have um, masts also antennas and some turret parts here really small parts I always wonder how ship modelers actually assemble all this stuff together because it's really tiny it's really tricky and I mean I can't even compare it to the plastic kits for the tank models or for car models because it's a completely different story now I'm trying to break this box because I did not notice the plastic tape and if I did it would be way faster but we do not search for easier ways right so here I'm going to scrape another uh, and it tears apart that's a bad thing let's say about the sticky tape that once you start to tear it apart it starts to tear in separate sections and then you end up with small bits of sticky tape here and there okay now I took it off so as you can understand here in this small plastic box we have the superstructure so I'm going to remove it here and these are various superstructures which you have, will have to be placed on the deck obviously and that's really cool that they are molded as one piece parts by the way these are parts for the main turrets and everything is ready to be installed here you can see them from the side but I still can't imagine how to paint all this stuff maybe with sharp brush maybe with something else and one more element is left in the box here we have this foam thing so as you can guess here manufacturer hidden the main hull now I'm trying to remove the rubber band one just broke off and we have one left and here we have the hull part so this is a so-called full hull so that's why we have here deck parts we have also the hull parts which should be glued together and the size of the finished model should be surprisingly tiny I mean I was expecting something bigger but here let me combine it together oh come on yeah now you should be see, able to see so here you can see the length of the hull it's not that huge ship I mean it's 1700 scale so that's why and here you can see deck parts and also this middle section okay still nice to see that it is packed into the foam 
in order to avoid any accidental damages. Next we go on with this cardboard with decals and P threads. So just give me a second. I'm going to open it and we'll take a look. Okay, so as usual P thread is attached onto cardboard. Here you can see it. Here we have various railings and also some thin parts for masts as far as I can understand. And decals are packed into the separate plastic bag, so here they are. Really tiny decal sheet and as far as I can understand there is only one marking option. I think so. Okay, we will see. Next we also have parts specific for the deluxe version. So it means the metal barrels here and here as well. These are really tiny parts. Maybe camera will focus and we will see them closer. Yes, now you should be able to see them. And next we go on with P thread for various ratings. And here we have one more. So a lot of metal to apply on this ship. And some parts will have to be bent. So um, I would rather use the special bender tool because otherwise it will be really tricky to do all this stuff. Even if you have two tweezers. I tried it, I know. Uh, here we have assembly manual. So this one is printed in typical Flyhawk format. It means the vertical layout. Here we have parts map. As you remember, history note was printed separately. Here we have safety devices, legend of, of for this science. And assembly process starts with hull, obviously. Then we continue with turrets on the nose section. Here we assemble the superstructure, we install it onto the main deck and we already work in with P parts which are shown with blue color. Here on the opposite side you can see um, again various turrets, anti-aircraft and the main tube, lifeboats and all this stuff gets installed onto this superstructure and next we continue with various masts which will be installed onto the deck. Here we have marking guide with paints chart and one marking option as I said before. But the interesting thing here is that this manual is for ship kit only and if you want to install PE parts here in PE parts we have this separate manual which will have to be used for all these accessories. So keep it in mind and try to combine all together. I know it's not that easy, not that let's say user friendly but there is no other way and that's a typical approach for Flyhawk. So that's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. Of course don't forget to write your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help us greatly and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, bye.